The median on a density curve is the equal area point, a point that has equal area both to the left and right of it. So if I'm looking at this shape, where could I divide the area exactly in half? To me, it looks about there. I think that's what divides this shape into equal areas. Now, the mean on a density curve is the balancing point. So if this was an actual physical object, where do you feel it would balance? Since it's skewed to the left, I know the mean is actually going to be pulled to the left to get this shape to balance. I think it's about here. So we'll say the median is a little less than $80,000 and the mean is around $70,000. Now on this density curve, there's no skew at all. This is called a uniform distribution. And since it's uniform and it's symmetric, the mean and the median are actually both gonna be right in the center. Cause this is the point that it would balance and it's also the equal area point. There's equal area to the left and the right of this line. So we'll say the mean equals the median, which equals 30 millimeters. Now a box plot is a graphical display of the five number summary, the minimum, quartile one, median, quartile three, and maximum. Now we just calculated the median, it was 30. And we can see our density curve ends at 10 and ends at 50. There's no area beyond those boundaries. So those are our minimum and maximum values. Now quartile one is the value that cuts off the lower 25% of wheel diameters. And quartile three is what cuts off the upper 25% of wheel diameters. So if we look at this entire density curve, we can see the range is 40, 50 minus 10 is 40. That means we could divide this pretty easily into four equal parts, the different quadrants. So 20 is quartile one and 40 is quartile three. Now this only works because it's a uniform distribution and all the area is equally divided through this range of 40. So let's draw an axis and make our box plot. So on a box plot, our minimum and maximum are represented by tiny vertical lines. Our quartile one, median, and quartile three make up the box. So they're gonna be larger vertical lines and we'll connect them to make the box. Now all we need to do is draw whiskers out to our minimum and maximum, and we have our box plot. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.